This video is made possible by Napleton Subaru in Schaumburg. If you're looking for a new Subaru product in the Chicagoland area, Napleton Subaru in Schaumburg is the best place to buy. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2018 Subaru Forester XT Premium. Up front is a 2.0 liter turbocharged flat four and down below is a CVT. Now I am super excited to be driving this Subaru Forester for one main reason and that's the fact that this car is really, really rare. The Subaru dealer that I'm borrowing it from has only seen about two or three of them in their experience. Now the reason it's so rare is because the premium was actually closer to the base model but this got the turbocharged engine so it's a really really weird spec. Most people that got the turbo went up to the touring and got all the bells and whistles so this is a more basic yet turbocharged Forester and I'm excited to share that with you today. But if you would like a video of your car filmed here on the channel, you can submit it to my website, zachpradle.com. Takes about a minute to fill out the submission form and you get a video of your car, just like the one you're watching of this Forester XT. But let's get back to that two liter turbo under the hood. Well, it is a boxer engine like Subaru is known for doing, and it's pulled out of the WRX of the same era. It makes 250 horsepower which is a ridiculously solid number especially given the fact that this isn't a little sports car this is a more family oriented vehicle it's an suv i know plenty of actual soccer moms that drive subaru foresters and yet they gave it the heart of their sports sedan that is really really cool to me now you could get this engine in two different variants this with the premium or the touring now the touring was about six thousand dollars more but got a lot of extra goodies it got the leather seats it got the power lift gate it got nicer bigger wheels however you didn't have to buy that you could also get it in this which was the premium which comes with leather seats no power lift gate smaller wheels that sort of thing. Now, like I said, Paraduit is a CVT, and I'm not in love with this. However, Subaru has used CVT since about 2009. They started really using them, and I think that they're fine. Because this is a sportier application, of course, I would have loved to have seen a more sporty transmission, but not the end of the world. Last but not least, of course, this is a Subaru, so it's all wheel drive. How does it feel to actually drive the Forester? Well, first of all, the power is phenomenal. 250 horsepower in an SUV, that's what I love to see. However, in actual practicality, the ride is pretty hard. The smaller wheels don't really soak up bumps at all. Not that the larger wheels would, but it's a pretty stiff ride. But if you're coming from a WRX, that's what you're gonna kind of know and love. This is a bigger, more mature Subaru WRX. And that to me is really cool. Visibility is also really good. The front windshield and side windows are ginormous. I feel like I'm in a Pixar car. So that is a big plus of the Forester chassis. It goes, <laughs> and you hear the turbo, it's fun, it's engaging. You know, it really engages all the senses, hearing, sight, smell a little bit too, which I love. This really is just a bigger WRX. So that's about the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have two physical gauges and a screen. Off to the left is my tachometer, off to the right is my speedometer, and then in the center, I get a little digital readout. On the steering wheel, on the left, I have my selectors for that screen, as well as volume and skip track, and my phone options. And off to the right, I have my cruise control options and my drive modes, as you just heard it beep obscenely loud. So I can put it into Sport or Sport Sharp, which is really going to wake up that 2-liter turbo. The overall steering wheel looks and feels modern. However, it is this sort of hard plasticky leather around the outside where the Touring would actually get a nicer soft-touch leather. Off to the left, I do have a climate control vent as well as a carbon fiber strip. Again, part of the premium package and not offered on the Touring, so kind of rare. Then I have my fog lights, gauge dimmer switches, traction control off, that sort of biz. Moving out of the door, I do have my power mirrors, power locks, and power windows. And moving into the center, I do get a little screen up at the top 
Right now, it's showing me my boost pressure, which is a really cool sporty addition, but I can change this as well if I want to cycle through a couple of things. And I like that Subaru has done this for the last couple of years, and they actually still do it currently here in 2023. Then we have the two climate control vents and the hazard switch, and then the infotainment system. This is a touchscreen radio. It's very, very basic. But if you're familiar with radios from this era of Subaru, you'll be right at home. Here's what the backup camera looks like. 2018 was the first year that was legally required here in the States. So it's fine, it does the job. Then we have our climate controls off to left is auto and temperature in the center's fan speed off to the right. Where to send it? That's it. Then I do get a 12 volt outlet and a little cubby. And then we do get a couple of interesting buttons down below. Not only do we have heated seats high and low, which is nice for a more basic vehicle, but I also have my X mode. So not only do we get sport mode, we also get X mode for off-roading. That's something you'd like to do in your Forester XT. Then we have the shifter itself, pretty basic shifter you'll find in every single Subaru from this era not really blowing me away and then we do have cup holders so we will do a big friggin bottle test here in the Subaru Forester XT premium and unfortunately it fails I didn't really expect it to pass most Subarus don't but alas I thought this car was maybe cool and special enough but at the end of the day it just doesn't fit <laughs> Then I do get a center console with USB and aux inputs inside of it. Then we gotta talk about the seats. Like I said, the seats are cloth, which is gonna be rare to find with the XT. Although they are heated and they are power. So some definitely nice options here in the Forester. However, speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's go do a back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2018 Subaru Forester XT Premium and a couple of things to note. First of all, this is my driving position. Honestly, it's actually a little bit further back than my normal driving position. And my knees are coming a little close to touching the seat, so not the end of the world. I can definitely move this seat up. Headroom is good. I do get to enjoy part of this giant sunroof. It doesn't quite go as far back as some of the more modern stuff, but that's okay. I do get a center console with two little cup holders. No vents in the center. Would have liked to have seen that. But overall, the space, take a look at the seats. I think they are decently presentable. You have to remember that this is the more basic spec. That's why it is so rare. So it's going to be missing some of those more favorable options. However, we will take a quick hop outside. We'll take a look at the trunk and cargo space, and then we'll talk about the looks. All right, so we're on the back of the 2018 Subaru Forester XT. Like I said, no power lift gate. Although the struts do make it pretty easy to open, not really too sad about that. Once we are back here, we do get this nice rubberized floor mat. We do have a 12 volt outlet off to the left. We have this giant privacy cover, which I really like. And you can pull this up and you get a giant tray covering the spare tire and tools. So plenty of space in the back here of the Forester, which I really, really like. And of course you can put the second row of seats down if that's something you want to do. But again, very weird to see a turbo without a power lift gate. Very interesting. Now we gotta talk about the looks. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of the tiny little wheels. And I just kind of don't really love like dark on dark cars. However, I do think that the actual body style of this Forester is pretty handsome. I think it's sculpted relatively well and I quite enjoy it. But with all of that being said, let's get on to my final thoughts. What do I think driving this rare trim and spec of the Subaru Forester? Well, you guys know that I love rare vehicles. I love driving and filming and bringing you guys unique cars that you just don't see much of anymore. Now you might be saying to yourself, Zach, I see Subaru Foresters all day. It's nothing new. And you're right, you do see them a lot, but it's hard to see them in this spec. And 2018 was the final year that they offered the turbo. However, again, you might be shouting at your computer screen saying, Zach, they offer XTs on other vehicles. I'm sure they're going to add it to the Forester somewhat soon in 2024 or 2025. And unfortunately, I have to say, no, you're not correct. Subaru has made it clear that they have no intention of turbocharging the current model Subaru Forester. They are focusing their efforts on electrification. That's why we don't have a current model Subaru WRX STI. They want to focus on electrification. So that means that 2018 isn't only the most recent year that will have a turbo. It might be the last ever. This very well could be the last gasoline turbocharged Subaru Forester to ever be produced 
ever. And that to me is quite sad because this car is so good. If you want an SUV, if you want the added space and ground clearance that SUVs offer, but you also want the turbocharged fun, the Subaru Forester XT is kind of your guy. But also, more importantly about this specific trim, is that brand new, you could buy this in 2018 for $31,000. That's not bad at all, especially given the fact that the Touring was $37,000. Why more people didn't opt for this I don't know, but I sure am glad to be driving this one today. I don't know what the future holds for the current Subaru Forester, but I know where it came from. And the Forester name comes from a long line of fantastic cars, not just this car. Fantastic through and through. The Forester is just such a great car. And this XT Premium deserves its jersey hung in the rafters as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Napleton, Subaru, and Schomburg. They have been absolutely awesome. They actually let me know about this car. They're like, hey, you gotta drive this. You like cool and interesting cars. This is the one to do. And I'm so thankful that they did that. Napleton, Subaru, and Schomburg has been absolutely awesome to work with. I cannot recommend them enough. If you're shopping for a Subaru product in the Chicagoland area, they're really the only name in town and I can't recommend them enough. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys. Thank you.